Since 1975, the event has been known as the Great Northern Concrete Toboggan Race. 400 engineers representing 20 universities take part in a challenge to design, build, and safely race toboggans with running surfaces made entirely of concrete. Yes, concrete. The team from the University of Toronto was in the midst of its run, traveling up to 50 kilometers an hour, when something went terribly wrong. <laughs> Two of the competitors on the sled were taken to hospital, but reportedly escaped the accident with just broken bones. The only thing I remember was flying through the air. I was at the back. I remember flying through the air and looking down at the ground, and I remember how high it was. But what had happened was it was much uh, harder than we thought. It's almost ice on the bottom of the hill there. And when we fell, it just dug in, and basically the, the back went up, and then the front dug in at the front, and then... We were just flying right over top of the thing. Other teams, meanwhile, fared a little better. Most teams, however, did manage to stay upright, but some went just a little too fast for their liking. While others just couldn't get enough steam to put them through the finish line. Overall, our country's future engineers put their brains and their bodies to the test to show off their technical prowess in what is considered to be the largest and longest-running engineering competition in Canada. There's quite a lot of uh, good action going on. There's uh, been a lot of toboggans that have gone down so far. Uh, some have gotten some pretty good speed, and uh, yeah, it's been